Joining us in the studio are two distinguished guests, Ni Akwete, African policy analyst and activist, and Fiwokuvle Muyandu, professor of African studies at Howard University. Gentlemen, I have to say frankly that I'm profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled to have the opportunity to host you on Straight Talk Africa, and especially you, Professor, for the first time. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my honor. I used to watch you as a child growing up in Umlazi Township in South Africa. Really? I used to listen to your voice at 11 p.m., so I'm honored. Unfortunately, <laughs> you make me sound very, very old because uh, <laughs> you're not very young yourself. <laughs> but thank you so much. When you look at the changes in South Africa, would you characterize them as uh, a paradigm shift? I would. Or is it simply really uh, the changing of the guard? I think, I think it's a little bit of both because uh, on the um, just changing of the guard, we must remember that Mr. Ramaphosa, President Ramaphosa, has been a deputy to Mr. Zuma. And he's very much a creature of the ANC. But on the other hand, uh, his image and his instincts appear to be very different from those of uh, President Zuma. Why would they be different? I mean, he has been uh, a deputy president to President Zuma. Yes, that, that is correct. But, you know, his personality is very different. I mean, a very uh, quick and perhaps insignificant characteristic or metric will be even the issue of wealth, okay? Uh, I mean, Mr. Ramaphosa is coming in uh, worth about half a billion US, in U.S. dollars. He's a very rich man. Mr. Zuma was not a rich man going into the presidency. Now, there's been this side uh, argument which stuns me, which says, and, and it's not just South Africa. Other parts of Africa, people are saying we need rich people to be president because the rich people will not steal. Mm -hmm. I, I don't agree with that, but it, it, it's, the, it's the sentiment. So that's one, one where they, they, they differ. Mr. Ramaphosa, by every account, is highly educated, uh, pretty intellectual, not as much as uh, President uh, uh, Mbeki, but in that also, the level of formal education is there. He, he is used to dealing with international, global capital and, and major corporations, and he was in the, in the um, uh, labor movement. So in all of those areas, he is different from uh, President Zuma. Yes, they both are ANC people and they served in the National Executive Committee, and he, but also politically, Mr. Mr. Ramaphosa's political agenda clearly is to separate himself from the image problems of, of Mr. Zuma. So yes, I think it's largely a, a turn in a different direction. 